good morning. I thought today it would be interesting to do something um, a little out of the ordinary. We've been testing cans, 5.56s and 30 cals, ARs. Um, this is some of my personal collection here and I thought it would be interesting because I don't think these guys have shot PCCs or 3030s or 357s suppressed. It's a, it's a unique category, I think. Um, we did a video um, at the house with pistol suppressors, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I will say in an application like this, nine millimeter, 30 cal, um, I think these really shine. So, you know, the law folders and making an AR into a truck gun um, in a situation, you know, in comparison to this, um, the size and the weight of this thing um, and the way that it functions, it, it just, in my brain, it just makes more sense. So, uh, a guy that has a nine millimeter you know, M&P pistol or a Glock pistol and this together in this compact package. Um, that's that's pretty tough to beat for what it is. It's light, it's compact, it's got enough power. Um, you've got a similar magazines. This is a 357 uh, bolt gun that I did about 15 years ago um, with a company out of Connecticut, NEGW. Um, and it was a scout conversion that we did. So um, I think Ruger still makes this. I haven't been able to find them for a couple of years, but it's a 357 takes a rotary magazine. Um, I've got an NEGW rear peep on it, uh, scout rail installed, uh, chopped, banded. Uh, this is their peep sight assembly, and then I had a gray sear coat done on it. Uh, oversized tactical bolt knob because, you know, why not? It's a 357 bolt gun, and I mean, you better have that if you're going to do it. Um, 357 Marlin, um, a Gen 2. Uh, this has been back to Lou over at Grizzly Custom for a full tune. Uh, I had him push the front end back a little bit. We threaded it because this particular monitor wasn't threaded and I wanted it in stainless. Uh, had it chopped to 12 and a half. Um, fixed trigger, action job, dehorning, smoothing. Um, probably my favorite gun, second favorite gun. Um, and then this old 3030, which is going on 15 years. This is the first gun that I did with Lou. Uh, it's a 336 um, that I got from a really good customer in Olympia when he passed away. I got it from the estate. And then I did this build out. Um, disruptive gray, LPA rear sights. Again, we pushed the front end back. I did this peep um, on the front, 12 and a half, uh, black sear coat. Uh, again, big loop, dehorned, tuned, uh, trigger job, um, smooth. These Marlins just run like butter. Um, and, and I think Grizzly Customs probably the leader on Marlins and custom work. Um, if not in the Northwest, then in the entire country. The guys, the guy does solid work and he does a really good job. I know lever guns have become really popular um, the last couple of years, and I see some, I see some stuff with, you know, M-lock rails and folding stocks and some of that other stuff. And um, maybe I'm just more of a purist, but I prefer, I prefer this over that other stuff. I don't know. I'm. I'm probably a little bit biased. So we're going to try some 9mm stuff. Um, we've got the new Sonus from Energetic, which none of us have shot yet. This is a wiped can. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this is the big boy here, the uh, Mark 9K that Gemtech did. I don't know about this thing's almost 10 years old. I got it from Joey. Um, it's a fixed half 28. They don't even make a pistol adapter for that. Uh, this is another old ass Gemtech I've got here. Um, they're multi mount, which I've got an upright AR, which we'll feature later. Um, but I've got the direct thread on this on the 357. So we're going to run the Sonus on the 3030 uh, just because I have concerns on the pressure. This is, uh, I think there's C600s on the cans. I talked to the owner at Energetic about two months ago. Um, we were conversing about the Thunder Beast and the sound testing and all that, which again, I, we'll put the link on there, which is great. But I asked him about the Sonus uh, versus the Vox, which is the C300. C300. It's this. So this is their nine millimeter can. It is a thinner wall. And I, I asked him, I said, this is the same weight um, as some other 5.56 products. And he said, well, you can run it, just keep it below a thousand degrees. So um, it's it's got a nine mil through bore and it's a hub back. Um, and I think it's, it, you'll get a lot of coverage out of that. So um, he didn't say it was 308 rated. He said, you know, 5.56 in limited application. So. Um, I think if the can's going to take the pressure and it's constructed right, um, again, these are multiple roll 
units, so it's a good heavy duty can. 17-4 stainless, not C600. Oh, okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's see how these sound. <laughs> no control around feed. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. Now that it is de chamber both times are loaded. Quiet. It sounds really good. Sounds good from back here. Yeah. Did he get one? It's not an AR-15. So you spend a lot of time roping and riding. Which he hasn't done. Yeah. When have you done either of those? <laughs> <laughs> All that oh. roping and riding. <laughs> what in the fuck? Now that's more roping and riding. John, I did the same thing you did, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, the safety was on the whole time. <laughs> I didn't do a safety delete on this one. I should have. I was trying to be safe for the kids. <laughs> Oldie boy. So Hornady released a 3030 subsonic, which I think is cool. Um, I really hope they do 357. So. You guys ready? Oh. <laughs> so if you're in a in a jurisdiction that allowed summertime deer hunting. Or Westport, Washington, if you guys know where that's at. Oh. Well, they don't want to come out though. That's insane. Is that blackout quiet? It's pretty comparable. Okay. 3030 is just blackout that went to high school with a rifle on the back of his truck. <laughs> What's up with this too? Uh, I don't want to say. <laughs> that is so quiet. <laughs> it's just a ton of fun. The concerns on direct thread. The the threads on this thing, I don't know if it's like too short in the can or the barrel itself. Um, you know, the threads when they did this action job are just a little too long, but when we were threading it on it almost feels like it's bottoming out early and they do feel a little gritty so that's where maybe a muzzle device of some kind um, griffin product q reardon um, might be a little bit better for this particular application but it still works just not as good it's a biscuit. too quiet it's just a ton of fun because there's no like big noise there's not really a ton of recoil so definitely recommend it. I'm gonna do this again uh, and that's I, I do want to mention that's I, I, you know we we get our ARs and our magazines and you know plate carriers and you're training and doing all that but sometimes this is just sometimes it's just fun to have fun you know this is these are I think this is a fun category I don't know 
like 22s. Nobody, nobody leaves like a 22 long rifle shoot going, man, that wasn't fun. <laughs> That's way too much fun. <laughs> a little sun too kick. No safety. No safety? No. Oh. Wow. That's incredible. I know. It's it's probably my favorite. Yep. That's have, so that's smooth. A, the subsonic load is brand new. I've uh I've always been shooting regular power out of that. Do you think anybody's doing like a, a 3.5 high? bridge for the top of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter has this in an m &P. She's got the m &P. This is legit 100 yards. Oh, I it. Yeah. Oh, shot. It's fun too, man. <laughs> so the 357 or the 30, you put 38s in it, like some underpowered, because 38s only going 850. All the 38 special subsonic. Mm. <laughs> so, we should have brought some actually. A tactical bolt gun. Okay. <laughs> oh! oh! There she goes. We killed it! <laughs> She's dead. Got him. No, oh, lay into it. What? No, it's already dead. I if just it's worse here, it's It was a dead fight. check. That's all it was. <laughs> you about the you about the sub oh. slap. That's the sub slap. <laughs> Chicken wing. <laughs> That's stupid. The dudes at Caltech are losing their mind right now. <laughs> you need to sell that to Magpul and then take it to Japan. Oh, for Chris Costa? Yeah. Anybody wants to want some cringe, look at the Costa flop. It's the airsoft event. <laughs> That's a good time. The Costa flop. <laughs> and those of you out there that still have the Magpul DVDs, just go ahead and pop those back in. Uh, <laughs> Fort Scott, by the way. Fort Scott ammunition. You're running the bolt here with your thumb and index finger. But when you come in, you drop into the trigger guard with this finger. So. Oh, that's insane. Mm. I know it. I'm gonna waste five mags on. Yeah. yeah so like <laughs> oh! Now oh, you're dead. Mm. I don't know about this Rhodesian boing boing. <laughs> it's a Rhodesian she boing a boing. Rhodesian boing boing. <laughs> Boy, the fuzz is going to be cleaning up out here today. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now you're getting it. Uh, there's a guy on the U on YouTube with a 303 British, like with mags, dude, and he's running like 50 rounds. It's fucking pretty crazy. There you go. There you go. Oh, that was all five. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you get an like, AIC 10 round. That was so much faster. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that with this. When you really need to get that deer. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Multiple deer. <laughs> Fish and wildlife, not a sponsor. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't be. <laughs> I would like to get the feedback from you two on on these. What do you think? So I, I hadn't shot lever guns. I'm, I'm gonna jump in before you do the Hit cool it. the cool thing. Uh, I hadn't shot lever guns suppressed before, and unfortunately now I have, uh, and I really want one. I think. You know, I have a 357 lever gun, or excuse me, 357 revolver. I think pairing it with a 357 lever gun would be really sweet. Um, nine millimeter suppressors that have the proper rating will work with, you know, your 357. So if you uh, if you already have a nine mil can, or if you don't, you should come by and get one. You're gonna have to thread your revolver too. No God. No. <laughs> so bolt guns have always been kind of a favorite for me. I grew up hunting, and I just I really love the action behind it. And then I got into ARs and stuff, and starting to get a little bit back into it and then Andy showed us this really cool new trick where you can fire with your middle finger and just hold on to the bolt 
and every time you come down your middle finger kind of just hits the trigger and you're it was it was stupid fast so um it's a forbidden technique yeah uh, bolt guns have always been my favorite um lever guns are cool too for the couple sub 2k fans out there we did enjoy that one too um but it's just not as cool as a sweet lever gun yeah yeah, we've shot every bit of 357 and 38 <laughs> that I had in the truck and with us. It's all gone. So, yeah, it's yeah, we're done. Um, I this subsonic 3030 with the Sonus is I'm pretty enthusiastic about that. I think that's that was cool. That's pretty cool. So it was quiet. Yep. Yeah, it sounded really good. Uh, even subsonic and super supersonics, they both sounded really good through that can. For like a little deer rifle or like two and four-legged animals, this thing's gonna be great. It's cool. So, uh, different weapon systems, you know, something kind of unique that uh, it's a little off the reservation, so to speak. Um, I do want to mention um, this is a Grizzly Custom. Um, I've got another one due to come off of the come off the line in a couple of weeks here, so I'll have a I'll have the sister to this gun available at the shop probably in about the end of February uh, I was talking to Lou we have a he's machining an RMR mount for it so we're gonna be running an RMR EPS system uh, instead of the T1 so I'm, it'll be cool when it gets to the shop so I hope you enjoyed our old-school cool video yeah there you go old-school cool there you go I like that if you're gonna practice that uh, bolt gun technique just make sure you're doing it safely <laughs> and unloaded <laughs> yep yep uh, make sure you go follow our Instagram um, leave a comment if you have anything you want to see or if you have any questions, concerns, um, again, we really appreciate you. Go and give it a share. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.